Captain Marvel was broken in that game. But, you know, I, Infinite, you know, I could probably let that one slide. I mean, yeah. But you know what I do love is they have Ultimate Marvel 3 tournaments once a month. Yeah, I saw that was here today. But that was here today? Yeah. Dang, I was going to enter. Yeah, like. Maybe next month. <laughs> but, anyways, we have Taternator versus Jump Steady. Now, Jump Steady, of course, being a resident of the northern L.A. area, that, that 818, you know, of course, always getting to lab with Larry Lair, you know, frequently on his stream. Um, Coming down, down here to Wednesday Night Fights and his opponent, Tater Nader, who's a bit of a regular. Mm -hmm. yeah, Tater kind of had a shaky beginning trying to make the inkling work out, but now he's he's realized, you know what, the Bowser Jr. is what's for me. Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting because I remember he was not a fan of like Jr. in the beginning, but I mean, to be fair, the, yeah. a majority of the community was like, Bowser Jr. is the worst character in the game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're <laughs> like, what? Don't select this character. <laughs> like, wow, they gave Bowser Jr. a horrible treatment. What'd they do to this character? Yeah, Anyways, they, Wendy, though. <laughs> Wendy's I mean, definitely character. Bowser Jr. kind of got, or Wendy got unnecessarily nerfed, but he, she can still do some things. She got some really good buffs. She has a combo game. She has a different combo game now. She has up throw up here for a free 50%. Yeah, you just can't approach for free anymore with, her, with the clown cart. Yeah, clown cart cannonballs are stupid. But wow, that forward air still strong, just like in the previous game. Yeah, why not? Getting caught with the up air. Jump Steady, uh, you know, now going to the Palutena. I know he still plays DSS, but... I never asked him why I picked up Palu, but you know, it's still working for him. Wow, is he really just like... Why not? I don't gotta do anything. <laughs> I mean, he could have actually like done damage with shooting a cannonball, <laughs> putting out a Mecha Koopa, and then setting up, but instead he wanted to taunt. I feel like he wanted to send a message. Oh, a don't message, be out here doing stupid things. <laughs> message was received for sure, as he goes up over a hundred, over a complete stock over Jump Steady's Palutena. Oh yeah, you do have a good point. He definitely should have shot like a cannonball, <laughs> set up a Mecha Koopa. <laughs> there, there were... Plenty of options for him to do, and that's the one he went with. But you know, dealer's choice. He's definitely the one who is winning this, the match so far. So. Dominantly, already lapped him. We're gonna see a Mecha Koopa, and I love that Deleted. he used the Mecha Koopa as a trap, forcing Jump Steady to, to spot dodge, and then punish the spot dodge with an S smash. That was, yeah, that was that was get out of my head type of. Oh yeah, type of mind game. Right that was there. definitely you, I'm in there. I right know Jump Steady not really getting a chance to to get his. Yep, teleport suck, bro. Yeah, very unfortunate. Messing up the recovery of the up B teleports can be a little bit difficult, especially with the slanted edges. Yeah, sometimes you don't teleport at the right angle. You'll either slide down the platform or you go on stage. Uh -huh. it, can, it can be really unfortunate sometimes. But, oh. I mean, that is that is the gamble you take when you pick a Nair the character. Yep. Yeah, Paul uh teleport, while it does go far, it is kind of suspect. It actually, you don't get your uh, iframes until frame 16. Ooh, yeah, that, that's a lot of frames. So yeah, sometimes Paul will be like, she'll start to disappear, and you can throw out a hitbox until hit her. It's crazy. Oh, you mean the startup of her teleport? Yeah. Okay. I thought you meant like when she comes out of teleport, like, there's 16 frames in between appearing and grabbing the ledge. Oh, I think no. it's four frames, but I'm pretty sure it's four frames. That would make sense. But still, that's like... That's a total of 20 frames that you've committed to using your recovery, mm -hmm. and you're vulnerable. So that's that's kind of uh, that's a lot. <laughs> so game two, going over to town and city. I'm not sure what I think about this pick. A lot of you have the ceiling. Paul Tana is known for like killing off the top with the uh, with Nair with explosive flames. So that's kind of delaying that a little bit. And it's not like Jump Steady was dying off the top. He was dying off the side a lot. So I think he just wants the space to maybe camp out. Uh, Bowser Jr. a little bit, maybe give himself some space. I mean, you got to think about the platform striking as well. Uh, Taternator is a player who traditionally will go to recover on platform just like any other like type of player would. I mean, and with Palutena's up air being so good and so wide, it, it might be just trying to shark with that. Yeah, you can definitely just tech chase with those up airs, with those nares. And if that is in fact the pick, well, the reason why he chose this stage, I'm going to guess that Battlefield was banned. Oh, yeah. A lot of times against Palutena, we'll just always see Battlefield banned just because extended Nair. Extended Nair, just up airs for days. All those teleport cancels. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a really good stage. Anyway. But unfortunately, losing that first stock again, it was, a lot, it was a lot closer that time. So, I know Jump Steady still... It, it looks like he's kind of lost when it's coming to killing. He's able to get this damage in, but it doesn't look like he knows how to take close out this stock. I mean, that seems to be the you know the mission for a lot of Palutena, is finishing your plate. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you can get that quick zero to 80, but that, what drops off Palutena or good Palutena, some bad ones are finally killing. They're like, I don't know what to do. I, I, I just want to throw something out. Yeah, so you really just got to work for your kill, which is a lot harder. But dash attack, oof. Even that dash attack at 130% is not enough because of that high ceiling. Mm -hmm. But really good uh, trump right there. Mm -hmm. Trump to back air. Back air is still super strong in this game. I'd say not as good just because uh, it kind of got nerfed a little bit with the with how much iframes it has or with the invulnerability on the shield. But it's still ridiculous. Kills super early. I mean, it definitely still has the same purpose as it did in Smash Bros. Oh, yeah. Invincible shield. You can't touch me. That's like, you're approaching? Nah. No, you're no. standing there now. Sit in that shield. And, you know, quick nair. The character got him a, a whole comeback. I'm surprised he didn't go for a down throw when he tried to go for a back air. Oh, but the air dodge Fantastic. into the wand. Yeah, that was a really good air dodge. And the fact that that those that the, the Koopalings have that mix-up, it's actually ridiculous. I'm going way deep for that nair right there. Yeah, you know, nair will combo until it kills. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. There. Oh, <laughs> got the last hit, but he just was not able to continue the train. All right now, it's Jump Steady just looking for a quick nair. He knows he'll get about 50% off of that. The Koopal, the Clown Card is trying to come in, try to save his uh, his master right there, but it didn't work at all. And Koopa just a little bit too late. Oh, that jab. So the rapid jab from Koopaling is actually ridiculously strong. Yeah, it's crazy. It was strong in Smash 4, but the problem was you could SDI and you could never get hit by it. Right. And now you just can't really leave. And once it hits you, once you're like at 80 on the ledge, you'll just explode off the side. This is crazy. Like a, a rapid jab killing at 80. Oh, what was... Well, and a quick 2-0 for Taternator's Jump City will enter the loser's bracket. Yeah, I that. do think he still practices his uh, Zero Suit. Yeah, he still he still does play Zero Suit, and I'm sure if he did, he'd still get amazing results with it. He's still probably our 